this time round. And the GG.bet odds there favoring the underdog after map number one. I'm, I'm expecting a lot from Complexity here. I want to see the best of them, and that's a brilliant start already. Taking down Borup, open things up, and down the vents we go. T-Side going to make uh, pretty much ease of their first intention, at least. Not really too many, uh, I guess, limiting factors. Test is down low, dinked up, forced away. Config controlling. Down goes the bomb. And a four... Oh, no, excuse me, 5v3. Obo still stands. And <laughs> blame is the lurk in lobby. Really, really difficult situation for Heroic to overcome after this vent, vent dive. Kadian in the aforementioned vents, but no kit. I'd save the armor. Save the armor seems to be the sentiment. Nico may not be given that a luxury. Conflict's in a duel with Kadian as well. Gonna get the double peak, and now maybe they want to go for this. Oh, three shots, perhaps. Someone needs to be on it. Nico's got another one. And just like this, they're on the diffuse. They've heard Someone. the vent. They know where he's coming from. Kadian has the chance, and they've no done way. it. I truly cannot believe that. We were talking about saves five seconds ago, and complexity fall. A double kill from Nico out of nowhere. Can we just watch that back? Please. Yeah, I need to see how that all I need to down. see how it happens, right? Because... As said. Down's got a full armor set with the M4. Here we go, here we Let's go. Right. See. Okay. Nico's killing ramp during this. Down's hitting nuts shots. How? Here's what, I, here's what I think happened. You know how my brain went, they're saving armor? So did Complexity. So what they tried to do is isolate that single duel on Nico who was actually backpedaling towards that ramp position. That opened the door, that gave room. It entered into a two-on-two on, two on wow. the bomb site. Blame was so far away. And from there, Complexity, they've dropped an absolute sitter right there. Blame is going to be disappointed with that one. Three AKs though, Chad. Boy. Yeah, with a bomb planted and all the players going down, there's cash to splash on both teams. There's an org, an M4 in round two of this quarterfinal. It's a death Definitely a unique start, and this is going to have ramifications throughout the first five, six rounds, depending on how this next one plays out. Who does it favor? Oboe's going to be lining up part of his, or his part of the L-Frame smokes. They start to fly out towards Warehouse and Main. And the flash from Cadian for Nico's Org. Very risky to push through this. Going out look. Surely. Wow, okay, that's a whole lot of faith in the hip fire, and I guess it works well. Trade, though, going to come back in for Obo, keeping it at level pegging, but he knows that they've seen a lot. They've got the information. Kadian's doing well. To oh. A lot of plays and surviving, even under all this threat. But it, the world around him is getting smaller and smaller here. The T's are closing in. Yeah, I don't know if Kadian got info on the jiggle, but his movement suggests he does. Doesn't want to take that fight, so stown has got a lot to do here on Mini. Shadow advantage. Minimal. Obo eliminates down. Two players with very similar backgrounds coming into this one as they journey into Tier 1 Counter-Strike. Different jerseys, similar ages. Kadian, he's not going to have seen that. Reacting accordingly, this 3v3 looks to favor complexity. Oh my god! What just happened? Did Rush Crater? He did. Borup gets one, but his Tessus is double to confirm it and what complexity. I'd call a timeout right now. That pistol and now a cratered Rush. He's pulled a Sunny. I'm trying to watch how he fell. Oh, he just hit the side. Oh part. no, he jumped. He hit his head on the top of heaven and then before landing on the, I, I, the I slide. Part. Yeah, he's missed it completely. I don't know if we get a replay of that. Can we see it? That was exactly how Sunny lost his life in the mouse sports game. He tried to circle. Oh, oh no. Yikes. Did he catch a flash at the same time? Yeah, he that? did. He did. So he just whiffed the air move. Oh, dear. Wow. We had one of those on Inferno. And right now, you're right. I think a timeout should really be necessary here, even just slowing down this eco. To lose that pistol round in the fashion they did, and then that round falling in the same way. No. This is daylight robbery. Heroic. They've done a fantastic job to do what was offered to them. But they should have never been offered that. Now, blame, frustration. Bloody hell. Deagle onto Nico. Oof. Okay, all right, all right. Some love taps Armor now. Down. This game. Okay, well, we're two rounds in and Nuke seems to be delivering. Um, yeah, slowing it down. I completely agree with that idea, Chad. Is like, you don't even have to take a timeout if you can just spend this entire round, everybody talking less, breathing more. Oh. Down. Sussed out by Tessus. His job is multi. Oh, oh great. Ooh. Team kill as well. Obo. Oh, we've had craters. We've had team kills. We've had config finding a deagle headshot that will put the rifle M4 into the hands of one of their stars. And a, is that the smoke? Okay. Not sure how that's going to aid him in any way. 
cut off the sight line and it's drawn two players into that lower bomb site, which has left Bow Rap completely isolated on top. The rotation will have to come through the vent or late through ladder. And right now that territory is being taken. If Config can make it up top, we can see right now that Blame's going outside to pick up Nico's dropped weapon over towards Warehouse. That's an AK and a smoke that he's been able to get. If he drops that smoke over towards in front of Squeaky Door and the vent, that'll isolate Bow up here and Config will be able to get into the site for free. You're bang on, Chad. It's, it's, it's just this duel. Config has to get down. Bow knows it. <gasps> Second guessing himself. Stown's got that covered, but Blame's gone down. It's all up to Config and Borup picks up both. A swift double puts the third on Heroic's board, and that is going to be a very harrowing start for Complexity. They're going to need to come in so damn hot with a page off the strat book in this first buy. They need something where everybody's got their flight path outlined. This was a great shot from Tess. This even gets the team kill God, into what a baby. Oboe. God, you've got to hope you've got a really strong mental approach to this game. That's a nightmare of three rounds. Yeah. Like, that is an absolute nightmare. A 3v5 on the pistol round with no kit in play and losing a retake, followed up by a crater from Rush in a top side split that should have been theirs every day of the week, and then a team kill from your in-game leader onto your little star fragger. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh. Obo had nine multi-kill rounds for the Inferno. It's certainly within his, uh, within his remit to be getting more than one if he's not taken down, and unfortunately for Blame, he was to blame. Oh my gosh. This is, I, I really think this is going to come down to a little bit of mental fortitude if Complexity can recover. And, as said, they could do with a clean one, a good one, a, a solid one, but obviously the CTs now get so much freedom, so much ability to be a little bit cheekier, find some areas to turn those screws as Rush at minus one currently ever fun to sit at is having to walk into a bit of a trap here oh he's seen it Stown has definitely seen the arm there's just enough of a pixel that should show on radar he's called it Cadian's there tags him up he can fall away from Whoa. this he has support here but he's isolated and the rest of the T's oh. gonna start coming in towards the site nice work from Obo he needs more Flame tagged as well good work from Config on Heaven Cadian you're so dead he gets the shot and maybe he can live to fight another day. Tess is closing in. He's got a nade. He could dunk onto Blame, but he's going to use his bullets. Oh, he's, in the and he's in the rafters. Tess is still alive. Off. Config to clutch. And they know exactly where he was, Lauren. They're going to group up. Tessus, Cadian, regathering their resources. A flashbang is all they've got. This is perfect from Config. God, the flash is good, but it didn't even catch him. But a nice position, nice place. They have no idea, though. And if anyone, you kind of love Config in these. He needed the second, and Tessa's out does him. Well played in the end of the CTs, playing it back in together. You could see the moment he was looking for, and there was a second he could have had it. But it slips away, and that clean round Complexity needs still evades them. Jeez, the plant, though. It allows Complexity to get another buy on the board here. These rounds have been somewhat special here. That's a, I really liked how quickly and decisively they were like, they're going yard, we'll take lob. Yeah. That was really crisp, like super natural. Stown's in squeaky, Nico's in hut. Suddenly, Rush has got a real nasty job. It's like in that pre, uh, the post-game segment we were just highlighting, they're always working for each other. There's always a flash, there's always a trade. They know how to play off of each other very well here. The theory side of things has been beaten into these Danes. And that safe pair of hand mantra that we're putting on them, they work together. You know, they're not trying to do anything on their own unless they have to. And this buy coming on through, well, it's going to be quick. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Borup, the walking Another nade. team kill. Another team kill. Config can completely justify it if he gets more, but he's gone. A 2v2 again with 90 seconds still on the clock and Stown stands up. Blame into a 1v1. This has been a mad start to Nuke. I truly can I hadn't. I had expectations, they have been exceeded, and we're only four rounds in. Chaos for complexity. You said mental fortitude's gonna become a part in conversation, Lauren. This round even adds to it. Let's talk through this right now, because Blame and Tessus, they both know the situation. Tessus well aware where Blame found that final frag, knows where he was working with the bomb for Tessus. He knows exactly where it's been planted. Or, or at least fallen. Yeah. yeah, not to confuse it for everybody at home. <laughs> now playing the bomb, allows Blame F to systematically clear through positions that he could be holding. Timing. There's so many. Oh my god, the timing. Has that worked in his favor? Blame F's cleared slightly for- Oh! Who's that? Oh! Tessus! Gosh, you, oh. know, you know that was a teammate. You've seen him. Yeah. You, you could see, like, the spray was not with conviction, but not with his own eyes. That was, that was Tessus just trying to put bullets down range before the same thing happened to Blame. Okay, I want to see that from the start. This is actually a team kill again. Rush. 
goes down. She's to having a nightmare, Thank isn't it? Goodness they? for complexity. I don't know if they could weather the storm of another loss in a one v one with the team kill in the round. Blame great shots, just about wow. adjusting in time. He's going to be disappointed with that one right there. Things have been going so well for Heroic with the help of Complexity within these early stages here. But now they've had to go for the Force by Pistols and an SMG. Mm. Look at that. That's quite a deep wall. Blame just with the P250 bullets. Actually chunking him down quite considerably. So that's Tessis to hold lower. He's already used his smoke though. So this is very early in the round. He's going to need to drop back and hold the lines. Whereas Blame has a Molotov to deal with him. And I'm just, I, I know it's its bad almost, but I'm scared for complexity. I'm worried that their mental fortitude could suffer. Losses here, oh damage God. like that. It, it whittles you away. It just chips away at that confidence that you need to have. And any of these kills, any of these rounds go astray. It's going to be a nightmare to recover. Obo barely stays alive. One HP. So suddenly these pistols are incredibly viable. But going back to top as well, that damage done to the secret play oh, is huge. God. But Burrup's even better. That's two massive kills this round. Look at the damage. Look at the remaining two. The nade from Tessus has softened them up. Yeah, I mean, Heroic have played this to perfection. Taking the initiative, taking the aggression when it's calculated. And now Tessus taking all this space outside. It seems like it's only a matter of time. Blames back his turn. Borup holding the lobby push. Config's in CT spawn. I mean, this oh is peculiar. God, they're saving. They are. What a huge victory. You know, we were complimenting what Heroic were doing with half buys, with yeah. deals, with whatever they could. They've done it again. And it was through Borup. Taking, a, I keep, I can't find an alternative word or a better word than initiative because that's what it is. It's like a whole team who take the initiative and play the percentage again into round six. This is wild stuff here. Complexity need to go back to their beds, jump in, close their eyes. I was, I was literally going to say this. It feels like a nightmare. Yeah, they need, to, they need to wake up from this first this first spree because, Lauren, you're bang on with the mental fortitude. This here, I don't care who the team is. The way that they have started this game, the calamities that they've had to endure just to this point, and we're only six rounds in. And half it, I don't want to say it's not their fault. Obviously, there is part and parcel of it, but to have so many incidents in so many occasions in such a short span in, in a playoffs game, this is to get to the semifinals. You're already a map down. And this is your map choice. You just got kind of gifted a good start back in. You could have done well with it, but no, it's instantaneously put under a microscope of, well, everything now gets called into question. They need a truly strong IGL, great mental fortitude to keep that focus. Of course, they can do the motions. They can run through it. But you're certainly going to be doubting yourself in a couple of moments here and there. But on the other side, of course, heroic feeling as such as well. Now just taking their time. Distinct lack of, of, of the CT presence in Warehouse. They're quite happy to give complexity the outside of the grounds and they hold them at long range. Great work. Nico does give the early advantage. He will be checked here. Oh, that was lazy. Sloppy corner clear and he's going to get a Oh, I love it. A nice. More salt poured into the complexity wound. I'm mad. Yeah. I'm straight up mad. Like, how is it not a time? I know these guys are consummate professionals. I know they're great at what they do and they will maintain and they will try and persevere. But trust you me, I my blood is boiling. I'm sure theirs is as well. Blame that trying to do everything he can. One oh, by man. one they peak and one by one they fall. And now he's got the one V1. He's got the bomb. He's got 35 seconds. Hayden does have that full util kit. He's got everything he'd want to try and kind of defuse this building situation. Oh, blame. Given the chances, and he's got the aim to back it up. He's going around the world. Here, Kadian goes down. It's a clutch and a one they needed. You said he's leading from the front. Blame does it again. Yeah. Clutches for two. He wanted a strong in game leader. He has, ha has had to pull them out of a hole here with two clutches in the only two rounds that they posted. Everybody else is melting apart on their team. Craters getting knifed, team kills. The in-game leader, the strongest man in the game, <laughs> quite literally, <laughs> literally yeah, we'll is take pulling that. them through right now. Let's see these first shots. I mean, he's controlling his spray, but this third shot. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even fault him for Big trying. Boy. And then good spray control. So he doubles his frags there in one round and then some four kills from 100 to zero from Blame F. Plays as big as his biceps. Five to two, round eight of map two. 
And Complexity needed that. They do not, however, come in with everything sunshine and rainbows. There is a Mac 10 for Rush. Galil for config, and they're only up against those pistols. Yeah. Zeus, though, for Caden, give me that any day of the week. I think Blame's been working on his cardio because he's just uh, giving complexity a bit of room to breathe here. Thank you, guys. I saw you wanted to say that line yeah, for thanks, all of Alex's intro to this round. It was really worth it, Chad. It doesn't come to me often. I'm not the weirdiest. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> I was ready. Obo was really backpedaling there. <laughs> <laughs> Could not Straight be holding down his S key any harder. <laughs> like, no, please, no. But uh, finally, a break for complexity. I think we can all actually just, you know, like in the movie, when there's a really intense fight scene, they have to cut away to like, you know, a conversation in a, in a room somewhere because yep. otherwise everyone gets a bit stressed. Yep. Right. This is what's happening this now, you know? Like after all of that, we're now cut to Hobbiton or whatever and they're drinking tea. Could, could Elbows you imagine through the field? Zeus kill if that came through and then, you know, someone had a revolver, someone gets a revolver kill, then the Negev comes out. You know, imagine, imagine the way that it could go. We just <laughs> get an absolute splattering of all the weapons here from Heroic yeah, onto Heroic Complexity. Heroic <laughs> really working on that Negev <laughs> nuke. The one point six all bangs come back out. Rush does get himself an extra 600 hey, bucks. Is Rush on the board yet, officially? Because he's had, I think, two... He is on the board. He's now. there yeah, we he go. He has two kills, but it only says one. <laughs> so he... he I promise you he has two frags, guys. As I promise. Here we go. So now the game can actually start. Yeah. All right. So welcome to Nuke, guys. Uh, <laughs> five to three, of course, the starting uh, on this one. Yeah, mixing it up. Why not? Oh, it was Blame, not Oboe. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, Blame definitely getting away from the only real threat in that round. And he's not funny fanning around with any knives or nades. He wants to get themselves back into this one. Chad's bang on, though. It feels like Nuke might just be starting. And topside push, Config re-aiming, and he's got a real chance. One for one, he'll take that with a Mac 10 and the adjustment slow. Looking good, Nico holding the wolf from the door with a triple kill of his own. Puts poison. He can descend quietly. Any more as he fires off some shots. Can he do what his leader has already done? Sets the precedent. Four clutches from his squad, poison. No slouch on the AK. Primary Orpa for Colt. Now where's that bomb? Now I can see, thank you very much. Clever camera, just at the bottom of heaven. Right to bait the pre-fire. Nico only has three bullets, you'll have heard that. And gets to reload all the time. Oh, lovely. Baiting the shots so he doesn't hear the drop. Tessus perhaps caught out. A long way to go before I can start shouting and screaming. So into the top site, they know where the bomb is. Poison. Playing around with the unknown. One flash left. And these two still posted up. Molly comes in, forces the fight. And Nico with his fourth that round. The first three were outstanding. This just kind of seals the deal. Um, but a lovely round from him. I was just watching that back there. He's found the perfect gap against their top execute while they're clearing off, expecting main to be smoked. He right here is standing next to the cusp of this smoke right here that we can see on the screen and pivoting perfectly. So he not only used their smoke to obscure the vision from the squeaky door player, he also used it to deny the individuals coming out of hut. I'm really, really interested if that's something heroic or well aware of and have prepped for because he snuck in there like it was something he does every day of the week. Yeah, it did look very comfortable for him. Of course, the problem with being the mini player that gets multi-kills is you can have to worry about Yard. That does become a problem after 15 seconds of ridiculous amounts of smoke. I'm counting five outside at the moment. Mm. And Tessus, oh, he's got a good premonition. Oh, and a chance, but not enough. Poison opens up the site, opens up the account, and they're wrapping heaven. Nico, he's in the right place at the right time every time. Poison finding a double to get this round started. Nice work from Poison coming online this time. He was a little quiet at the start, and I don't blame him. The rounds were certainly not with them. But now the T's get a little bit of map control. They get to put themselves into place. Down, toying oh. with the ideas here. But you can see on the other side how close these boys are. And it looks like they want to run it up here. Yeah, but, I mean, there couldn't really be a better weapon for this job here. More up. Okay, burning. But they're flash two. And unfortunately, yeah, caught in mobility. Poison will get that bomb down. Breaks his legs for the efficiency. And unfortunately for Stown and Cadian, this might be the first time we see Heroic talking about that uh, that S word. Cadian's getting a bit inquisitive here in the event with the AWP. Important that they hold on to this going forward with the back and forth nature of how these rounds have been going on the later stages of this CT side here. But now he's thinking better of it, tucking on back. And both Stown and Cadian will do their very best to hold on to these weapons. 
I was watching um, Chaos Com's video. Yes. They call Decon Sync, and I okay. much prefer Sync. Okay, you want to call it Sync? I think I'm making the transition. Decon, just it, it's just a bit of a faff. I understand there's some decontamination uh, word right there on the screen, but Sync is to the point, it's direct. Yeah. And uh, I can run with that. Okay. That's All right, you can flow. Goal. We can. Well, the thi the the reason that the the players, this is for ladies and gentlemen at home, you try and keep it to like as Still lower up. syllables as humanly possible, um, so that comms are very quick, quick, quick and concise. Oh. That kill right there onto Nico. If he had a double, that may have changed the outcome of this round right here. Unable to convert and good stuff for complexity. It will be one of these rounds where they might have to consider the force, and they will. So behind this, a few more. Low buy weaponry, Deagles, MP9, a little bit of utility. It's going to be more of an aggressive stance towards Yard here. We have one tucked in towards the back of Warehouse, down, down spamming over through the smoke. Over up with the MP9 <laughs> on his own in the top side. Heroica making a fan out of me. Really liking the diverse play here. Kadian will try and stick around credit card. And look at that. There's, a, there's three players to receive early aggression outside this round. Does mean there's a gap. And uh, they've identified that. So what's the rotate going to look like? Testis is going to be the first man on the scene. Ooh, this could be nice. The crossfire as well could be coming into play soon and I can see the player oh. down towards sync now. Do you like that? Okay. He's Scout. going through. He's not going through. He's not that brave. Come on now, Chad. Calm it down. Cadian's on the case over towards Ram Flash in case he felt like it, but does he expect Blame F out there? I mean, Blame got the kill, right? So he's, he's yeah. aware it's a possibility and I love that Cadian's got this inkling. He's probably going to sweep wide. Nico's looking for him as well. Oh, blame. He is here to game. Another headshot found. And so a 2v2 in the mid round. Stown pushing lobby for info. Kadian holding the close line and he will find him. No exit for him. Knife out for Oboe. And seven for Heroic. Double kills distributed nicely. And round 12, complexity are in somewhat of dire straits. It's Oboe and Rush will have to make some sacrifices. They completely gave up the lower site there. Like, they, they gave up the lower site after having control, right? All it was was the underground flash from Stown into the bomb site from Sync that scared them away and forced them back into Cadian's op. This kill right here. And then now they're all searching. Everybody was searching. Blame searching. Nico searching. Cadian. Oboe's waiting for the frag to come in so he knows where to go. But Stown, he's being the stopper in lobby, making sure those rotations can't come back through. Heroic are doing a fantastic job of dealing with the tendencies of complexity here. And now the money's being forced on down. A MAC-10 will come out for Oboe. Rush yet to buy. On the other side of things, an auto shoddy. So the things, or, or rather the players that have been standing out to me on this heroic CT side, and you've already highlighted Stown, is the way that Stown and Nico are working together. When Nico's not main, Stown is there. When they're working on crossfires, Stown will often be ratting around that T side vent. He can then catch the rotate as you outlined by sync. But like they are communicating together. The one that's closest to outside can take secret steps down. They've got like this lovely little flow state between the two of them where one of them's got the gaps covered. Very exciting to watch. Well, look, the different look for Stown this time. Through the flames, gets the bomb drop. And now Matt, oh, a quick one from Rush. Borup pulling out the alligator and he's hungry tonight. Snapping away on two and a oh. bit of damage inflicted as well. Now blame and poison into the top site. Bomb loose, complexity. They're trying to destabilize Heroic, but it seems that they can thrive in this chaos around the smoke. It's beneficial to Tessus. Oh, he's got the bomb. Yeah, it's Amazing very loud. Amazing away with that, yeah. I was kind of surprised no one committed to just trying to stop it, but no. He's gone down towards lower, and Blame F is going to be playing this one almost on his own in a weird way. And Tess expects it. He reads it like a book. Tess really is playing such a matured game. He's really got an experienced head on the shoulders. Now Poison in the corner. I don't see how he gets out of this one alive. 98% of the time, he is dead. Will we see the 2% tonight? Look likely. And there we have it, Tessus, yeah, playing well ahead of his years. Uh, and I think I could attribute that to many of the youngsters that find themselves in a heroic jersey at this point. Very, very fun to see this team maturing in front of our very eyes. Eight to four, folks. Eight to four. It is CT side nuke. You would expect to see the lead, but this next, what, three rounds of play will determine a whole lot as to how competitive this second map is. We wanted to ask some more questions, Alex. We might get an opportunity if the game continues in this fashion right here. This is phenomenal stuff. The ten the way that Complexity like to approach these rounds. Blame always on the lurk, always searching for gaps and space and trying to take advantage of those CT sided rotations. Well, right now, Heroic have his number. He's doing a good job. He's a reason that two rounds are posted on the board for Complexity with those clutches. And now it's pace. That's the answer. That's how Complexity want to get back into this. They've thrown the smokes, but Cadian's seen nothing's crossed. Oh, that's... Nothing to report. 
free information that is. Now he has to be kept on his toes. Now they can respond accordingly. Going to adjust himself slightly to maybe a deeper hold. Sit further back. Maybe reading they are going to be on a lighter buy. Don't want to get oh. overwhelmed. Here we go. Nico goes down, but Stown is there. We said before, safe pair of hands and a safe three-man pickup. But there's been damage done. But it looks like it's all but quelled. Yeah. Wow, there was moments there where that really could have gone horribly wrong. Lame's still one of those moments. And he's walking around the map still heart beating. The spray from Stown really stopped that from getting awkward. I mean, <laughs> the spray control, when he's shooting at toes and kneecaps as well, Chad, like, that's not easy spray control. It's not center of mass. It's not a really easy target mm -hmm. to adjust your spray to. He's aiming at Bloody's toenails. Yeah, he did a fantastic job of bailing them out there. That round could have really fallen if he was traded top heart. But look at Bo Rap. He's more than ready for this rotation back into lobby. Blame. It's an off angle. I don't think he's going to check this. He's going to poke his barrel forward. He should be taken out of the picture any second now. <gasps> Ooh, okay, I thought for a moment there, there was a chance, but you might be watching this and thinking, Blame, he's always last alive. Well, he's well aware of his capabilities as an individual. He's got fantastic entry fraggers, Rush is very selfless, he'll get in there, Config is the second man, Oboe as well likes to get stuck in, Poison potentially leading the charge with that AWP. So Blame doesn't need to be the first man in, he doesn't need to approach the game in that fashion. Now, you will see him in a lot of these clutch situations, and having converted two out of four rounds for the boys, it's a very positive stance, but they need a few more here, so complexity, they're being shot Shaken right now. I haven't seen them look this disrupted in uh, the entire yeah. time I've been watching them, to yeah. be honest. They're under an, uh, perhaps an unaccounted for amount of pressure. And now, it looks like Stown immediately <laughs> getting himself down the vents, trying to keep them at bay. Bullet Knife out! Keeping Rush down. And he, anybody that wants to try and be a rat in that smoke will have a slice. Come on now. So Stown. Normally, when we talk about young players in these situations, obviously it's to the negative extent, but then also when everything goes right, they just play their absolute best. They are in the perfect environment for this. True. They have nothing to worry about, nothing to fear anymore. They've got a map to the good, and they're already leading quite nicely in map two here. So if anything, they start feeling a bit more confident, and obviously showing the other foot for the T's here. Now, that's a beginning. As Poison goes down, Rush already tagged up. We saw how that happened. And Config's found a bit of room. Did Nico see or consider that? I don't think so. Yeah, and that might make things awkward for Tessas here. He's been quiet about it. He's well aware of the potential. Good catches from Oboe. Advantage now, complexity. He's cleared outside. Cleared mini. Config sweeping into heaven. He won't catch a glimpse of Tessas yet, but I mean, in time. That's right. Oh, no, he's just below. Bloody hell. Keeping his noggin down. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> Three members of complexity descending to the lower site. Who's going to be the first CT rotate here? I mean, I'm seeing Cadian partnered up. Config's got full control. Tessus can control the vent drop. See how they're clearing lobby? They're looking for that lurk. Now, they're either going to save right here, or they're really making sure that nobody's holding. Look how, look at this. They're really clearing as if somebody could still be close. So very, very worried about that fifth man, well, fourth in a round like this, being somewhere he shouldn't. That'll be round number five, and Config's actually on the hunt here. So this is curious, seeing if they can get any damage done. But round number five will be on the board for complexity. So if they get six, a very good first half. You know, we're talking about how Nuke seems to be trending more in the favor of the T's if they can continue to punish that CT side economy. And just remember the first three rounds of the game. Crater, TK, 3v5 pistol loss. That's how they started. So then bouncing back, they're getting in it. They're really activating. Are. I mean, yeah, so of the last, what have we seen? Three CT rounds in a row, that's going to be... Breaking their silence. Complexity, their rounds have been scattered. It's only stringing together two consecutive round wins over this one. And Obo contributing uh, straight through the smoke in order to find themselves their fifth. Chad's bang on. You can kind of sweep it all under the rug, forget about it, take your break, have your swig of water and come into that second half revitalized. But a 10-5 would be a little more of a stern reminder of how this game did start. Let's get into... Our final Complexity T round could be a VSL 1 Cologne 2020. For Complexity, you, you want that additional. I, I feel mentally that's one of the ones that you, when you go into that second half, you're feeling better about it. Six seems a lot better than five, even though it's really not that far away. Honestly, any silver lining, any confidence booster, I feel they will benefit from. But Gideon, that smoke, once it dissipates, 
How much vision does he have? Wow, okay, straight through to lobby. Oboe's there. Bear in mind, there's still a player into the left. It's Rush. He could do with this. That's excellent for him. Doesn't fall to the death. Doesn't get knifed. No bad problems here for Rush. That is a big success, and that's very early in the round. Yeah, and Boris walks straight into the crosshairs of Oboe. Wow, sometimes the rounds just come straight to you, and there's the feet he was waiting for. Sprays wildly. Nico eventually caught through the smoke, and it's down to Tessus. He's got a whole squad coming towards him. He eventually is knocked on his arm with the right anti-strat against the right team. And this was enough to humble Blame F. And of course, their mental fortitude has been really tested. They're charging, and this looks like the right call. Someone's been doing their homework. They got a ramp stack into the ramp stack. Okay, here we go, and there we go. It's over. Five kills in quick succession complexity, and Blame F made the right call to start off the second half. Just the other day, we were singing their praises, Heroic, when they did that ramp rush, where they were bunny hopping backwards, having that hitbox, the head tucked down, going around to ladder base, doing the same thing. Thing on Quirks, we went, none of that silly business. Run into this stack right here. We'll put the USPs right in your face and we'll show you how it's done. So that's clean and easy as you like. They're the five headshot strategy working perfectly, but Heroic are going to bounce back straight with a force bite. We love their uh, top side take here where they do the Molotov towards top hut, the smoke in front of squeaky door to force the rotation. But this time it's going to be straight down secret <laughs> and straight through the smoke. Oh, that was the one too. Dunked him with the nades, scout through the smoke, flashes from his teammates are perfect. And very nasty Ooh. deaths down. Good moves. He's actually got himself down towards sink. Problem if Obo doesn't get away after the first. He's getting shot at. This could be perfect. Borup does manage to get himself the frag and the plant. They've got a lot out of these pistol armor. And now it could get awkward. I mean, I will remind you, there is not a kit in play here for the CTs. Time is their greatest ally here for Borup and co. Warp's position makes me nervous. It's one that can really bring great success. Rush tries to check on it. He falls first. And now the support, the cavalry Double swing. is here. There it is from control. Oh. They're keeping it under control. And Heroic get right back on the board. I want to point out why that's fantastic work right there from Heroic. The fact that both played window above Burrup's position to clear him out. They have two options complexity. They either dip and dive over the top and try and swing on the dark position or force around on top of that rafter and put distance between him and the CTs retaking the site. The two players in the top window ready to swing means that he's, no matter what, he is safe. They can trade. It can be efficient. And they've turned this round on its head. And they turn dark from being a one and done, you know, gimpy spot into something. That's insane. Very, very powerful. I love it. Heroic starting to make fans out of many of us here this evening. Great counter strike. And Blame does have config in the ranks, which fortunately puts them into an early stead. It's going to be equaled out by Cadian. Tessus is going to be working his way round red. There's smokes to enable his cross to secret. Nico's already down there. And uh, only real CT presence, likely the first rotator, will be that ramp player in Oboe. So, not really in the biggest rush. I'm yeah. intrigued as to why they've waited by red with the bomb, like crossing so late, and they are doing so without any CT calls. Nobody's holding that cross. Not a sound cue, not a peep. And they've really studied the CT side of rotations of complexity here. Look at how exploited this is. Look how much room that Nico's been able to take without an early warning signal whatsoever. The first sound cue they'll get will either be a door swinging wide open or the window breaking. And at that point, there's two Molotovs. That could Molotov off the either side of ramp. And they won't have to worry about anybody coming on through. Heroics still have to clear the site. They still have to worry about it. We know it's clear. The window breaks. There's the Molotovs I was talking about. Now they can isolate the site. Seven seconds to do so. Pushing on in. MAC-10 leading the way, planting safe, decons covered. Things are looking picture perfect right here for Heroic. I have very rarely seen something so choreographed, so Nico. You know, mm, mm, that was ambitious. And it does open up a little bit of uh, an account of danger. Tessa's probably not going to be gifted the same sort of support, maybe, from Bora. But yes, Tessa's falls away, plays the new angle, allows them to filter through. Surely this gets stopped now. Blame F in the 1v2. Cadian's not going to let this slip. Tessus tries to make the play, but Blame F can fall away from this one. And, I mean, these rounds are close. I, I have to, again, it's the heroic prep, the approach, the you know, the conclusion, the fight is still close. We know complexity are great. They're great players. But, God damn, does heroic have a good head start. It's, it's putting them in, in such good stead that it's almost always a disadvantage yeah. to call on yep, the retake. Yep. Like, it doesn't matter how good your aimers are. If their fights are always going to be more awkward than your opponents. 
It was a great shot, but it's Testus that really wrapped it all up. He just had to exist while Borup did what he could from the sync or decon position. There are a lot of details from that round, but the key one that I want to note here is Config actually taking the duel with Stown in the squeaky room. One of the keys to Heroic t side is the Molotov on the hut roof with the nade towards Squeaky to blow it open and the smoke that limps out in front to obscure vision for the vent dive. That's Stown's playground. Now, if they want to take that heads up, they can fight him. They can drop some pop flashes in and really take that duel. It's not an easy one, but if you're going to send anyone after him, maybe it will be Config. So let's keep an eye on that as we get back into the gun rounds in what will be round number 20. Right now, it's just Blame F on that AK. He's shown it outside. He's now dropped back towards ladder, spamming it away, trying to force them in a direction. We can see now two players already down secret. Make that three. Stown overseeing things in the yard, just dropping a bit of utility, keeping them eyes glued towards that yard position. But they're already across. Yeah, thanks so for repeat. And now they'll do the same Molotovs, I assume. Flash up, take space. And Bomb can come in. It's best to cover the right side. He was responsible for the molly. And Bernie, fortunately, Bernie, Bernie. Config did not get that headshot. But there was a real chance, a slight gap in this execution or this form of it. Flash on the right side of ramp for Borup to do some damage, perhaps. It's down into that warehouse. So he's got Rush being he's hunting that rifle down. They know there's a, a prized possession that's been stolen from them. And there is a degree of hunting involved for this. Two AKs recovered. Oh, one AK recovered. Now Nico's hitting his headshots. Okay. Oh, Sorry, okay. what? Straight from Hello. All right, mate. All right, Nico. He's got his Desert Eagle. He's got two kills. Some people might question why was the need for that chase in there? Well, the money, because of the force buy from Complexity, what means is going into this gun round, they won't have the goodies. Kit watch will be on high alert right now. Weapons either have to be emissions, and you can see that the Famous has already been bought on through. So this means they've had to drop their firepower for more utility. And Nico here, hello. I don't even know that you're here, mate. I can't see you. <laughs> now I can. You got the little bit of splatter for the first shot. Look at him having a giggle. I'd be laughing oh, too, mate. It fun. can't go better than that, can it? Yeah. Oh, God. They're the most dangerous. They're having fun. They're running exactly what they want to do, but this is the buy round against them, and it looks shoddy, Alex. Yeah, look how fast Config's trying to rotate in. He actually may have missed the vent drop, but already we have got a Borup behind enemy lines. They'll do outside smokes, maybe even go ramp. This could be groovy. I love the way this one's starting to shape up. Look, outside smokes, Cadian to Lurk. Tessa's down, Nico taking... Well, I should correct myself. It's Borup down lower, but those three will be working their way through the lobby position. Well, we heard the ladder. Work, Config yeah. was noisy. That's a big problem. Uh, kind of surprised seeing a fumble like that. Maybe truly unaware someone could have been down there. Maybe that little bit of seed of doubt came through, but now the T's get even a better launch pad into this round. Still fully sitting on all those mollies. No smokes left, but I'm assuming this top site is about to get roasted. Oh man, it's clever. Borup catching the Oh, Rush. Oh, some Rush is flushed out. Into the top, only poison. He's very precise as our poison, but not the first. Three versus two. It's down to plan. Obo completely nullified. He won't be able to climb up there. And so another tough decision to be made. Complexity's chances of a semi-final are just being ripped from ripped from them. And I mean Obo, a famas. You said kit watch. You're bang on. Heroic by getting this bomb down, they've almost sealed the deal. No one's given them a free frag and that's far from free. Obo pays with his life. He has to save. I don't know how Blend can get back into this. There's no time. There's no chance. There's no kit. There's no hope. Borup finishes him off. That's 13 on the board for Heroic. This is amazing stuff. Can we can we just take a second to really quantify? We're seeing Heroic win their map looking quite good. It was exciting. We've come into this. This was the danger map, right? Complexity known to have really good T sides, very robust, very good players individually. All comes together. Heroic have turned up incredibly well prepared. They seem to be reading the game ahead of them. They're feeling it. I am. I am worried for complexity in this uh, wholeheartedly. I think Heroic have done more than enough now. Here's a short list of the teams that complexity have beaten on Nuke recently. Na'Vi, Mad Lions, OG, Fours, Vitality, FaZe. I mean, the list is long and it is star studded. Seven straight. That's Seven. illustrious. That's Seven in a row for complexity and Heroic with God Hunden watching over 
It does seem to be translating into something worth screaming about. They are three rounds away from a semi-final, ladies and gentlemen, and they're doing so with style. The, the, the Borup vent dive into outside smokes, into config thinking he had to rotate, to Borup profiting into a 4v5 top site execute. It's hot. It's Counter-Strike. And I'm loving every second we get to spend watching it. Deagles, Kevlar Vest, it's Complexity doing their Kevlar Vest to make something happen in round 21. Oh, and already uh... the head of the snake has been chopped off. Now they rise embarrassingly for the next 90 seconds. Rush, go back to Tessas for us before he reloads. One bullet. Look, God. one bullet shot. That's Damn. all he needed no. to take blame out. Just one little AK bullet to the head and, well, the in-game leader and the man who clutched in the first third. Okay, Poison, you heard me. You want to fight as well. All right. It's got to be a bit more, though. Again, for the CTs, it can't just be small victories. It has to be quite big ones at this point, even though they are on Deagles. You need more away from this. Now, Oboe falling back. Here That's good from Rush. Taking down Cadian's excellent. They've seen now the vast majority of players. Do they check on Config? He has gone unnoticed thus far. Bore up seems away. Saw him! Run out! <laughs> Game over for Config! And my word, Heroic going from strength to strength, poison put down, Heroic on the verge of almost victory at this point. The money's still not great because of that Deagle Kevlar buy. Look again, you can see Blame F, he has to get Kevlar, then he's going to get utility behind it, but a Diffuse Kit won't be able to follow. So you just have to look at this by going for more of a potent pistol buy. They've actually hurt themselves going into this gun round. It's enough to work with, sure. But it's not all the goodies. They haven't even given themselves a single oh. round here. Oh, dude, that's like you're in the street and you both go to the same side and then you come back and you go to the same side. It's the nice little dance. A life pro tip for you is when I, when I feel it coming, I just put my hand, I point in the direction I'm going. Oh, you know? okay. I look a bit weird, but they know what's going on. <laughs> they know what's going on. It's like you're on a bike. Exactly. Uh, so here we are, folks. We are at the business end of our first quarter final poison. Ooh. Narrowly firing off a shot, 50 caliber round, giving Nico a undesired haircut. The util's so light already. We're at 120. Some players have nothing to put into play at this point. They've bought down to zero. This is the investment. This is the chance for complexity to dig their heels in. Has to start now. Nothing's gone wrong to start with, which is a bonus. They've had some trips and falls on the way early. Now we're seeing those smokes getting oh. put into place. This plays in towards Nico. What does he do with this? The outside smokes yeah. might give Nico the fight he wants. Exactly that. Now he knows what's up. There goes He's ahead of it. Way. Nico just read him like a book. He is just one step ahead this whole way through. Borup looking to maybe punish these rotations. Try and get a little behind them. No, rush right there. Now oh. gets the first, gets head ripped off. It's looking good for oh, the tees. Wow. I, I mean, I will give you a little insight into that round. Chad, his mouth agape, eyes wide. They are playing these complexity boys like a fiddle. Unbelievable. Ahead of the glaive smoke. One of the panic buttons that Cole liked to hit oh, is he'll underhand through. it and now it's down. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> it's such a nightmare. Desperately trying to hold on to his weapon. This isn't for a round win, by the way. This intensity is just to preserve. Everything, to have another go. Everything is, look, Heroic have done the hard work. They've definitely got the strap book out, the notebook out, the game plan, everything. They know exactly what Complexity are doing in every single moment. But what it looks like, the picture it paints, is Complexity are just missing timings or they're just getting unlucky. That's not the case. That is not the case whatsoever. They are being handedly destroyed by the number one team in Denmark right now. Let me tell you that the stat lines over there for HLTV.org have Heroic as the number one squad because of those roster changes within uh, the realms hmm. of uh, Astralis. We're 15 to 7. I feel like it's just been this constant machine from Heroic. There's the blunt object you were talking about, Chad. Every time I watch Obo, I see what he doesn't miss. No, he doesn't miss. You give him a, you give him a jewel. You give him a heads-up fight. He doesn't miss. No, and uh, and that's certainly a powerful tool. But poor workman blames his tools. Let's see what complexity can do into what could be the final round of our first quarter final here, folks. Blame's going aggressive, taking matters into his own hands. He wants to be able to call the outside cross, put Poison into a good position to thrive. And I will admit, I've, he's been a relatively quiet presence on this second map, the do or die, the sink or swim. Smoke's outside. Blame will be able to call whether or not it's a fake or not. A lot of pressure on his shoulders here. Blame have to keep this under wraps, keep that information th flowing throughout the team, ensure that they have the full picture of this, let alone if they actually come towards him. 
Now beyond that, the T's running down this clock. They're making them sweat. They're going to make them just have to really go through the motions. Are we in the right place? Do we have... So uncomfortable. Talk? It's vile. And Blame F, I'm sure he's jumping the bit. He wants to get involved, but he can't. He's going to hear some of this. He's going to note what's going on. And he still sees nothing. Oh, yeah, you still can't... Look how far he's, he's going. pushed up. Now he's got the info, and he does get the frag. That's huge. Outside smokes, a complete waste of time for Heroic. He's on ramp. And it's poison. Already a chance for a second. He's taken down Nico. Just three, make it two as they hold the wolf from the door. The bomb needs to be recovered. Down's not got the moves yet. And an AWPA training on his location should confirm the round. Complexity, this is much more convincing stuff. Nice clean pick up for Rush. And so eight is found, but quite the spree required. Seven rounds in a row, no easy feat. It is CT side nuke. We've seen seven round sprees. We just saw, uh, was it six? Yeah, six in a row from Heroic's T side. So I, not out of the realms. I understand why Heroic aren't going for the all-in force right here. They have a lot of rounds to work with, but I would love to just see them keep their foot on the gas, right? Because the intensity that they've been able to build in this game and pushing complexity to the backs against the wall, of course, you could get away with, you know, one sloppy little mistake. That's it. We'll see. Pacey round coming in. Flashed out. They're going to get around here. The, the bomb lower. It's already lowered. Tess has got away with it. Is anyone on ram? Does he get the cross? He gets it. That's a plant. They're getting away with a lot here. And now Config probably going to be annoyed by this once to get back oh, in. Uh -oh. Oh, or not like Four this. up just got one. And now we're in a bit of danger. Config keep control. Keeps calm. Keeps cool. Keeps the round favorable. Uncadian. Oh, not going to get away with that one. Bobo was getting his way to the bomb. <laughs> I was ready to pack like it up. It. I was like so it. ready to pack it up. That seemed so That's messy. got his mouse bungee in his hand. He's already halfway wrapped <laughs> He's it. packing it up. Oh, even rounds like that are scary. Yeah, that was a glock, a no armor, charging down the vents and getting a bomb plant. Oh. Ooh, lovely stuff. I love the contrast of the two rounds they've currently thrown since, since match point, since semi-final point. They go for the <laughs> super slow and they go for the rascal play. I do love the, uh, the the heroic cams giving us insight into the type of uh, atmosphere they're currently fr thriving within. And I think it's very exciting when you have young and uh, competent individuals managing to have fun when it's become their job. This is their profession. This is how their performance review looks. For you, you're sitting in a meeting and they're telling you, you need to do this, you need to do that. For them, it's all on the scores, on the doors. Deep smoke from poison. Needs a belter from this as well. He doesn't have the support from Obo. Normally Obo kind of leans around that way as well. It's just him oh. this time. And the right place for Obo too. Finding Tessus is good. Blame F in position. Nicely held, nicely handled. Poison running through the veins. Has already bore up now left in the 1v5. Very tough to consider a way he finds it. But that's a clean start. Very clean. He did damage to Poison as well. If Config's a bit too frag hungry here. <laughs> We could be having some issues. They're so isolated. He has a minute to have four 1v1s. And that's a reality that, of course, Complexity are going to be looking to resolve. They'll be making sure their pieces are much more adequately positioned. And I like this from Poison. He's got one side of the door covered. He knows a ramp descended there. Config's got the lobby push. Seems like Heaven will be his route. And look at how close of a line Rush is holding. If he holds W, if he's not walking into this line of sight... Oh, no! And a chance... Oh, 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 oh. Controls it. <laughs> the avenue to top was open then. So I freaked out that if you'd missed that bow up, up the ladder, in the That's sight... That's you hope for, is it? That's oh. not the one. They don't die after the second. I think that's the face you're pulling. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Double digits now for complexity. One timeout remaining in their back pocket. They're not going to get an opportunity to use it if they lose a round. So they need to start mounting here. Oboe's leading the charge yet again. 20 kills to his name. 18 for Blame F. Money's down. Pistols again. So we saw how dangerous Heroic were before. They get a couple more cracks just like this. They might even be able to break Uni. through. Oh, oh, chunky damage. <laughs> Obo's going to be chuffed with that. Yeah, that's one that I'm sure the Lanxess would have made a whole lot of noise about just seeing four bodies hit the deck in quick succession. Quick massacre to get them into the next round of play. We aren't going to be seeing that timeout called, but yeah, just a hold of his mouse one. And catching that last straggler through the smoke as well. <laughs> it wakes him up, I guess. Good to see him smiling. Yeah, I mean... It's going to be hard mentally for these guys, some of them younger, some of them older, you know, it's a lot of pressure. And I don't like always going to the mental sort of side of things, but when you've been battered and bruised, you're against 15, having a round like that, get you feeling it again. Yeah, I mean, we talked about how many they needed to connect, right? How many they needed to string together back to back, and they are four 
of the required eight from doing so. Four in a row for Complexity. They have had eight match points from Heroic. That's eight times they have had on continue to have the shot at picking up the semi-final spot here in regulation. Previously, we have seen evidence that Heroic may have issues closing. Maybe mental turmoil can start to creep in. Oh my Love god. Love it from Poison. That's going to get right under their skin. Borup eliminated. Forced to watch as this round will have to work without him. All is util. All of his frags no longer going to be a part of the contribution. Kadian's got a lovely little lineup for this one. Bravery to go for that in these scenarios. Oh my god. Underhand smoke to grey screen the rafters play oh out. Rush. It was Rush, excuse me. Poison plucks him out. Just two remaining. Complexity have just completely locked this down. A site is theirs. Get away. And even pushing into squeaky Whoop. config does make a bit of a meal of it. Nico will be happy to collect one, but maybe there's more to be said ahead. Now rolls, poisons. Gone. 60 seconds for Nico. Bomb on that top site. Rush taking down Tessus in the full flashbang wars of earlier. And now Blake no. steps into the line of fire. Nico, they called him the unpredictable, and I start to predict a 1v4. Oh my god! Again! Oh. Rush saves the day! My god, it could have been it! They could have ended right there! Jeez, the safety net of Blame F on the flank to fall in that fashion. It felt like that round was done. As soon as I saw Blame on the radar coming around, tucking on through, Nico's avenues, they were shut on down, but he deals with that and makes this round competitive. I have to give credit here for Complexity still fighting. The fact that Poison pushing into Hut and taking the initiative to duel that early when they are against this situation. One round away right now from dropping on out. And Nico, you can Whoa. see that. He uh, was feeling it. That would have been a career clutch. Jeez, that was insane. That would be one he watches in 2022 before his land final. That's that's a clip he'd have come back to. Absolutely. Whoa. Money now I've got goosebumps. Use. It didn't even happen, Lauren. Okay, we can all calm down now. So I talked about the eight. Well, now it's just three. Complexity <laughs> are on their way, folks, from doing the consecutive run to overtime. Grit and determination get pulled in here. They've got a grip of the game. But I mean, it's fine margins. You saw it in that last round. One player can almost tear you apart in this sort of matchup. And we'll see how close it can get again. Tease this time. Going to be taking a second to consider any moves from the C teams. Blame F last time got great deals of info with his push towards the outside area. This time posted up by Red and Nico on the other side. Part of me is nervous about Nico's life there. It does look like he's gone back. Oh no, he's still sticking around outside. So is he conscious that Blame F has gone for something so cheeky? The outside smokes will mean nothing. Caught off here. Oh yeah, he's been completely caught off. Lovely choice from the Dane against his domestic rivals here. Going international and trying to prove its worth with a fantastic first blood. They might have to pump the brakes after that smoke lands here. It looks like they want to use the outside smoke still, but they're starting to dissipate. So heads up jewels are important. Burrup and Tess says they need to find some kills. That's the two AK-47s. Stown and Cadian, they have the Galils and they're drawing attention towards top right now. Oh man, suddenly this- Not looking! Doable! Config distracted! Eliminated! Rush needs a multi-kill! He needs to find Cadian's head! It's not enough! Two on three! Play He just can't do anything. James gonna win the round again. It's gonna be three in total. Okay. And just two more chances for Heroic before we reset. We wipe the slate clean. They've gotta clear their heads here. Timeouts, two remaining for Heroic and two rounds to find the one. Elusive. Oh, he's pivotal, 16. isn't he? Blame F is That's brilliant three in the round, right? at what he does. Yeah. He finds a lot of space for them. He takes a lot of responsibility as an in-game leader. But this partial buy here, with 3,400 going into the final, Heroic is still Christ. threatening, Lauren. This is the Tech Nines. I know that you love them. Techers are out. I'm a big fan because it throws mayhem into the matter. It's things that are unpredictable. It's players flying straight down to a secret, catching a nade or two, taking a bit of damage. Sure. But they're still down there, all heard, all relayed. Blame F hears it oh. all. Even gets a touch of damage towards Tessus, but look at Conflict's position, Alex. This could be devastating. Yeah, for him. If Cadian's blowing off heads like that, my God. Didn't even need to counter strafe down. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, I'm starting to get nervous. There's only three CTs left. The Juggernaut could be beating its last few beats. Oboe, poison into the lower site. 
Bombs there are wrapping around towards window room. Oh. Cadian already hit a spectacular shot. And now Oboe's in a very exposed position. It does look prime though. He can't be helped here though. So isolated. It's more than an island. It's not an own world, own planet. Oh. And Bor up takes him down. It's down to blame FM Poison. I cannot believe this is the round that they might have just done it in. And we start to chant, not like this, not like this. Poison and Blame F tend to agree. Molly forcing the fight. Borup will burn if he doesn't fight, does damage, but that's the start. Blame down to one HP. If he could hit that orb shot, we could be potentially manifesting the comeback, but this could be it. It looks like it might be. Blame, he's got no time. He's got no friends. He's got no health. It's six.